Hi, it's Matt from quickregister.net and today I'm going to talk about how to optimize a single page, a single blog post for multiple keywords. So your website, your web page, the specific page can be found for multiple keyword searches. So generally what happens is you want to focus in on very specific keywords when you're doing this and longer tail keywords. Uh, you don't want it to be too general and you want it to be for keywords that don't have a lot of competition. You're getting very specific with this type of optimization. Now I want to optimize uh, one of my blog posts for, for this software called Article Video Robot, which turns articles into videos. You input the article into the software and it will turn into a live video with people actually speaking the words. This is great for people who don't speak English well, who don't want to be on a camera, who don't want to, don't want to speak, don't feel confident, or people who just want to make videos quickly and easily. Now, uh, what I did is I'm going to use the Google Suggest. You can use the Google Keyword Planner in your Google AdWords account to give you some ideas. And you can also use the uh, keyword suggest, the Google suggest that, uh, and I like that uh, quite a bit. It seems to work well for me. So I just typed in article video robot right here. Okay. And down here I have searches related to article video robot. Now what I like about these, they are very specific. If I just come into, um, if I just come into the Google AdWords and type in article video robot, I usually get, I get a lot more vague uh, terms. Uh, some of them uh, relate, others do not. Like for example, um, convert, convert video files online. That would not uh, apply to what I'm doing. Okay. Um, transcribe video to text. Uh, no, I'm going the other way around. So, you know, I'm getting a different, uh, a lot more vague suggestions. You could find the specific ones too if you keep looking through uh, Google uh, Keyword Planner and you can use both. But right here, I'm getting some very specific suggestions. Now, if I type this, if I copy and paste this term into the Keyword Planner, let's see what happens. This is a long tail keyword. Now, I'm not looking for a, a, a keyword that gets tons of searches, okay? I'm looking for something that that gives just a, a, a few searches a month and I because I don't want a lot of competition so say, say I type in in the Google keyword planner uh, article video robot coupon code that that's a great one because those are people who are looking to buy they're looking for a coupon code so all right it doesn't have very many searches 10 okay but I want to be found for that because it's very specific for, uh, for what I'm doing. Um, uh, there's not a lot of competition. I could probably rank fairly easily for that. So I definitely want to be found for that. And plus those are buying keywords. So you want to look at what the intent of the searcher is and find keywords that are all related around that intent. I'm looking for people who want software that will turn articles into videos. And I want people who already know about this software and are looking to buy right now. So uh, let's take a look at how to optimize our page using these keywords. So what I did is I copied all these keyword phrases, um, none of them which have a lot of competition, but are very specific to my article. And I put them here in Notepad. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my article and open it up in WordPress. Okay. And I'm going to copy and paste my keyword phrases here that I want to rank for right here. And I'm going to try to find a creative way to fit these into my blog posts. Okay. And it has to be, so it's uh, readable by humans and it's not over optimized where I'm just stuffing the keywords everywhere. And, um, it has to be, uh, it has to work within this article and it should work because the keywords are, uh, are very specific. So that's what I'm going to uh, do right now. But first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the tag section. And I'm going to create tags for each of these. And I'll show you how I do this. Just go over to Google and type in comma delimited tool. And you're going to find this free tool, delim.co. I always forget that. But if you type in comma delimited tool, you'll find this. And it's a free tool that will take your list here 
and turn it into a comma separated list. And that way you can add this to your tags. So I just go click here, click select, click copy, come back over to my article. I come here to the tag section. I type this in, I click add. And now I have created tags for all these keywords. And I also find that these tags will get found in the search engines. What can happen with WordPress, it'll create a tag for those keyword phrases. Here I've got uh, my, my article and it's tag and turn articles into videos. And I've got turn articles into videos as some of the keywords. So it's showing up here as a tag. So it's another way you have the same page found for these uh, low search volume uh, keyword phrases. Well, usually I like to include some articles that are about uh, the same subject to other blog posts uh, at the end of my blog posts. And actually I find that this helps me uh, get good traffic back to my original blog post. It alerts the usually uh, the other blogger that I've written something similar. So he's aware of my article. Sometimes that creates a track back, but also, um, you have the, the titles of the most popular articles uh, on the specific subject in your text. So you will start to rank for those because you've got the titles of some of the most popular articles on, uh, on the specific top, uh, topic. And plus it gives better value of value to your readers. So all around, it's a win win. Now I had this one long tail key term article, video, robot alternatives, uh, alternative. And I, I decided to get creative and said, I'll, at the end of my article, I'll include some articles on alternatives to article video robots. So here I, I put in the H2 tag, okay, article video robot alternative articles, because Google s pays extra attention to um, the H2, H1, H3 tags. So that's one creative way I included this naturally in my article, this term. So not only do I have some articles on the subject of article video ro or robot alternative or alternatives, but uh, I have that here in my tag as well. Now I want to try to incorporate article video robot coupon code into my article. Uh, that's going to work out well. I use the, the term a discount code, but here I'm going to replace this with the keyword phrase and it works perfectly naturally. And I'm going to highlight it a bit, give a little extra emphasis to it. Now I have article video robot coupon code uh, right in uh, the body of the article. And in addition, uh, what I did is I made an H2 tag here showing article video robot coupon code. And this is my coupon code that you can actually use to get a 50% discount on it. And I made this nice and bold in the, with a uh, heading two. Now it looks, it works out well for user experience because someone could just read my article who's looking to buy this and say, wow, okay, here we go. I got my coupon code. Um, and then I go on to explain uh, more about article video robot here. Uh, so now I've optimized this for article video robot coupon code. Now I'm using a WordPress plugin called uh, Yoast. This is great because it helps you create uh, SEO titles and SEO beta descriptions. Now, because I thought the article video robot coupon code was such a great term to rank for, um, I included in the meta description. Now this is what people will see when they see it in the search results. So I put article video robot coupon code, article video robot turns your articles into videos. Again, these were, this was another one of our key phrases. Please visit this post to get a 50% off article video robot coupon code. Now, if somebody is looking to buy article video robot, uh, Hey, they're going to click through if they see this in the search engine uh, results. So I use WordPress SEO by Yoast. It's a plugin you can get, which will enable you to put the special meta description in, including your keyword. All right, now I want to do something creative with article to, to video converter, article to video converter. So I went up here to this uh, phrase I had up here. Here's exactly what article video robot software does for you. That's what I originally had, but I included here is what article video robot article to video converter software does for you. 
Okay, I, I added this right here. It's under an H2 tag and it's right up near the top. So this will help me rank for article to video converter. So I've got that keyword phrase. All right now I'm gonna work on my next keyword. Um, text to video converter free download. All right, this was a little trickier. Now I had a place where I just said, click here to download a article video robot. Well, you don't really download it. It's, it's done on the site, but it's kind of the same process. But I included the keywords, click here for article video robot, text to video converter free download. I pushed it a little bit here, but I got in the keyword and it's on the link to where you can go and get article video robot and they do have a free trial. Um, and I've got article video robot coupon code here, uh, right here as well. So we're, we're including all these keywords bit by bit in a creative way. Now let's see what we can do with text to video software. Okay. How about here? What are the downsides of using article video robot? Text to video software. It works in perfectly and we've got the keywords in an H2. We've got that one done. Next keyword, article to video creator right here. Let's see. Let's see how we can include this. How does article video robot article to video creator benefit you? I think it works. We've got it in here creatively again in an H2 tag. Next, we're going to do this keyword term, turn your articles into videos. I snuck it in here. Okay. I said article video robot will turn your articles into videos. And I'm just going to highlight bold it here. Okay. You don't want to go crazy with this. You know, it's hard to, to, to focus on everything at once, but here we've got that keyword in here and we've also got the tag. So we've got that. Now we just have one last one to do convert text to video online. The next keyword was turn text into video. I snuck it in here at the end, uh, to have native speakers convey your message in a video and turn text into a video. Okay. I want to bold it out here so we can see it. So we've managed to creatively include all our, our long tail keyword phrases. Uh, in various uh, strategic spots in the article, uh, we put the most important one. We put them in here in, in the meta tags. I'm also going to do the description. I'm going to work on the description, uh, the SEO title as well, a little shorter one. But you're getting the idea. And I created tags for all these because these tags get found in search. So now we've got a, an article about Article Video Robot, uh, which is uh, really well optimized for multiple keywords. So I hope this gives you an idea on how to optimize a single page for multiple keywords. If you like this video, uh, please share it, embed it, uh, on your blogs. You're welcome to do so. Um, and also would like to invite you to subscribe to our video YouTube channel as well as we're going to be coming out with more videos like this to help you increase your rankings in the search engine. This is Matt from quickregister.net. Thank you so much.